New Star Wars ships are here. Spiking bits. Welcome back, Star Wars X Wing Maniacs. These are the latest releases, well, before the year was out for Star Wars X Wing. So, two new conversion kits. Forward the Resistance and the First Order. These are a little bit cheaper, which is nice. I think they're $29.95 as opposed to the $50 price tag. Um, the first round of X-Wing 2.0, we saw um, summer slash September-ish time. And the expansions themselves are all $20 retail. So the price has kind of gone up on your basic uh, ship, so to speak. But they still come with a decent amount of components and things. And they have upgraded the artwork, the packaging, the game. All that sort of thing so at the end of the day you gotta gotta decide do i pick up the new ship or do i just get the conversion set and i think we're about out of the conversion set water so pretty much from here on out it's going to be all small ship expansions and before we jump into the smaller ships themselves which there's only one that's actually new and that's the new a-wing variant uh, let's talk about the conversion kit. Like I said, it's $30. It's going to come with a ton of material here for any of uh, the resistance uh, fighters or I guess ships that you may have. Now, it's going to come with enough stuff for three of uh, the Sky Fortress uh, resist or Star Fortress resistance bombers, four of the X-Wings, the T-70s and one or three of the YT-1300, um, you know, the new Carillion freighter thingamabobber that we saw outfitted a little bit differently, but it's going to come with all of the accoutrement that you need, all of the extra tokens, flying stands, and things. And it does have a bit of a bonus. So, like we saw with the first set of conversion kits, there's different slots here. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that, but it's a little bit more uh, to kind of get all of this stuff out. Now, it's going to come with um, your what is it? Your uh, let's see the Star Fortress and the T-70 X-Wing. So you need cards out of the most recent one and then the Star Fortress that we saw before X-Wing 2.0 came out. Those cards that came in there, they added the 2.0 cards to that. You also get them in here. So this is kind of like your bonus content, so to speak, which is really nice that they put this in here. Really solid to see. And then you're going to get the lowdown on all of the content that comes in here and what we'll do is I'll open this up to kind of show you. Obviously, you don't need to see dials or anything like that. We're not we're not all stupids here. We've seen that stuff before, but uh, all of the upgrade cards are all right here. And I'm sure you've seen them ad nauseum on other channels such as Kravik or maybe Team Covenant. So we're not going to really get into the nitty gritty of that, but I at least want to give you an idea of the product contained within this kit. So short and sweet to the point, bonus content wise, T70 pilots, You've got your Sky Fortress. I don't know why. Too much WW2 on the brain. Airplanes is how we started out uh, modeling and tabletop and got into the hobbies and everything like that. Star Fortress. <laughs> two Star Fortress pilots. And their associated cards right here. Notice a large and small stance. No in-between mediums that were introduced in 2.0. And for the rest of them, you've got your complete readout of all of the numbers of uh, card upgrades, stands, things like that. Then they kind of break down how different components work here. And of course, you've got your jersey numbers, which or I, I like to call them jersey numbers, but they're really ID tokens. Then your arc, you know, because the turrets work a little differently now in 2.0. Your dials, which I really dig the coloring of these dials. And then some of the new components, tractor token, rattled, listening devices, some conditions, calculate jam, the arc indicator right there. And then some of the larger templates or device, I guess they're not templates, they're more uh, devices and bombs and things like that, that also are coming out. And jumping into the cards themselves, a so lot in lots of shield tokens, charges, dials. Like I said, I love the graphics on this. Everything is new and fresh and looks so cool. And make sure you match these up with the uh, little numbers on the back so you know that you're putting in the right thing. And also the little donut hole cards will definitely help you out there. So lots come in. It might be about half the price, but you're still getting a number of content for those ships to get you upgraded up to 2.0.
Now the T70 isn't anything new as far as expansion wise goes, but you're still gonna get a bunch of content in here. Uh, it's it's a ton. You're gonna get a ton of pilot cards right here, and here's the exact breakdown. So 12 ship cards, six upgrade cards, and some credits on the back. So quick builds. Uh, pretty much it all the tokens and everything you need now i didn't open up the the little ship here and i like ffg's new packaging too because it kind of puts this wrapper right here around the actual shrink wrap itself because remember actually repackaging these was kind of a bear and they would fall apart and if you didn't you know if you wanted to store your mini it was kind of hard but this seems to be sealed in here which for retail is probably pretty good because it makes it a lot harder to actually steal the ship you can steal the cards and i guess maybe that's better nowadays because you already have a ship but just real quick packaging is a little bit different i kind of like it i haven't commented on it uh to date but that's uh that's pretty neat right there now not gonna take a look at the ship because you guys have seen the ship we don't need to really show you that let's jump over to the a-wing which is all new so the new a-wing is here it doesn't come with quite as many pilots and upgrade cards as the t70 because obviously the t70 has been around for a hot minute but it's still pretty dope it's got the rotating uh rotating blaster cannon of course because it's the new version and they can do that sort of thing which is neat to see upgrade wise everything's listed out right there but i'll slap them down here i believe we've seen all of these in the previews at least i'm pretty familiar with them which means that if you're more than just a casual player you're way more familiar with them if that's kind of where we're at at this stage of the game so there's everything pretty much laid out decent little expansion i mean it's got it's got some potential with some really cool pilots of course and some abilities that don't necessarily have to be used on the a-wing itself right there as you can see bonus content wise from the first order starter which i did, actually didn't show you but here it is we opened it <laughs> and it's got all the stuff on the back there again seven tie fo uh enough for seven tie fos which is a decent amount for if you're on task form special forces tie tie silencer and the upsilon class shuttle right there now these are the silencer extra weapons or excuse me extra cards extra pilot cards some upgrades and the i think this is fo yeah this is fo right here and the bases charge tokens things like that so that's the bonus content in here and we'll jump over and take a look at everything else that you're gonna get inside this 30 dollars conversion kit also conversion kit wise here's the list of everything that's gonna come in here so tons of content like we already showed you what ships they go to uh, the single turret arc indicator as well is going to be in here. Tokens, your dials, which I really like this new design for the dial, just like I did with the Rebels with the orange. The red is very striking. There's your credits on the back. Three fat stacks of the cards right there that are going to come in here. And, I mean, these are just very cool looking. Like, if you, there's your forward indicators, probably for the... Uh, ground attack versions and then you've got some condition tokens very cool and all your dials remember to match up the donut hole so you put the right one in the right thing and there's your ship cards as well so lots of cool stuff in here lots of good content now if you're new to the scene and you're wondering why i showed you that bonus content because the silencer came out it was the last regular x-wing ship they did put the 2.0 cards in there and then the fo which came out we actually have it right here to show you it has other pilots in here that aren't in here so they put those in here in the little special content but this is it this is the last conversion kit this is the last uh, one to kind of be together and then we've got the mining guild tie is the first brand new content just like we saw our brand new expansion just like we saw with the a-wing so back to comparisons just like we saw with the t70 the tie fo is going to come with a lot more content a lot more upgrade cards in here then you're going to see for the new mining guild one because that's one that one's fresh it didn't have a 1.0 version so here's the list of everything in here 12 ship cards five upgrade cards some quick um quick builds right here four quick builds and then the tokens and cards and everything else you need to field this ship flat around the space curves all you want so i think for the most part we've seen a lot of this content so i'm not going to spend too much time on this right here new 20 dollars expansion the new mining guild tide introduces a interesting little ability here not stabilizers when you move you ignore asteroids let me tell you what how many times i have f that one up playing <laughs> playing x-wing so that's kind of that's kind of a cool little thing uh, to see right there, you've got two quick build cards here, six pilots, and only five upgrade cards, but not too bad. 
for a brand new, you know, shit, brand new kind of content type deal. Um, ranked in order of pilot skill up to four right there with four men, Pride, Pride Doc. Um, it looks like a solid, you know, release. Uh, it is scum. This isn't first order, so keep that in mind too. So it's kind of like reverting back in the timeline a little bit. Uh, not that there is a timeline forward or back, but when you're reading the fluff and everything, you kind of get a little confused sometimes with where we're at and things. But nope, this is uh, this is kind of back there. And uh, yeah, I like I like the little homage here. They got a have a have with a V, but he's definitely fighting some sort of big space squid kind of thing right there. Not quite a whale, but a squid. Uh, really interesting to see. But regardless, uh, super solid. This is the first uh, new content out of the opposing forces, so to speak, to the Rebellion slash um, Resistance uh, going forward in X-Wing 2.0. So overall, looks like a good crop of products to get all of your X-Wing 2.0 up to speed, including Resistance and First Order and a couple of new bonus ships or new release ships that are completely 2.0 content. So that's gonna be it going forward here. So thank you so much for watching our unboxing and review video. I know it's a little late, but we took some time off in the holidays. So I hope everybody had a good holiday. And of course, uh, happy hobby new year going forward with all these new ships. Lots more on the way from FFG. Can't wait to get our hot little hands on all the new Legion, Armada, and of course, x-wing going into 2019 so if you enjoy these type of videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos Spiking bits.